So iPad OS 26 beta 2 just dropped exactly two weeks after we received the first beta at WWDC. And this falls right on track with what Apple has been doing traditionally in the last couple of beta cycles where between the first and second beta, you will receive basically one beta. And then every other week after on a weekly schedule, we typically get a beta drop. So as you can see here, iPad OS 26 Beta 2 has a full build number of 23A5276F. And if you are familiar with how Apple Betas work, that last letter at the end of a build number signifies how close it is for release. So obviously for this, we know in July we will get a public beta, but this won't be fully released to the general public until basically September when the new iPhones get announced. But aside from that, Let's take a quick look here and see how exactly everything's looking. And we do have nothing major here in the new categories, but I do want to look at one other thing in general and actually iPad storage to see how much iPad OS takes up with Apple intelligence here. And you can see we are looking at almost 20 gigs between iPad OS and Apple intelligence in this tablet. So it's eating up a good size, but not surprising and right on par with what iOS has. So obviously we know a lot of people are wondering how exactly the new liquid glass would look. And you can kind of see how it's tinted a little darker now and looks a little easier to read on the iPad. The iPhone still has some opportunities there with it not being quite as frosted, but I think this actually looks a lot better than what it did before. And you can see we just somehow swiped on our brightness a little bit, but then scrolling down through everything, it just seems a little bit easier to see here. Obviously liquid glass is going to be in fluid motion, no pun intended, until this beta is finished and released. So we'll have to see exactly what we get out of all of this and what new features are still here. We do know obviously, depending on what app you're in, you now are able to get that complete new menu bar up top more Mac OS like than ever, as well as those new three dots. This is all covered in our initial beta one video. We're not gonna jump into all of that. We talked about the new multitasking and obviously the minimize, close and maximize options. The apps do seem to now hold in memory a lot longer for multitasking as well. There is now that new journals app here. If that's something you wanna take advantage of, if I could type, just like you have on iOS, and then the Files app has a lot more coming feature-wise to be much more useful than before. You have a new list view, that new preview app hopefully will be taking a new advantage of too. Because prior to this beta, and it still looks the same, it just looks like the Files app still with this big preview over it. So nothing substantial there, unfortunately. And then, like I said, background priorities and processes are here for the dynamic island. You will start receiving things like that. But again, this is all part in beta one. Let's kind of jump around and see how the performance is so far. Let's just jump into Apple and everything is flowing pretty well. I will say iPad OS beta one was much, much better than what we had in uh, iOS. So that's not necessarily much of a surprise, but it does look to be working very nice nonetheless. Uh, and does seem a little smoother. I can't wait to see how battery life's gonna be. It was not great on beta one, but hopefully here in beta two, it will improve as you would anticipate. Aside from that though, we're not gonna jump into every app. You know how you can now basically multitask if you need by launching different apps. And then like we showed you earlier, you're able to actually just go like this, minimize them down so it's stored in memory. Or if you want to change the size, you can just drag and drop and just have all the floating windows you want now. You're not confined how you were in iOS 18. So we're not gonna double talk about what's been out in iOS, excuse me, in iPad OS 26 beta one. I'm not anticipating many new features here in this build. If anything pops up and stands out, we'll do another video on it. But right now, go grab it. If you are in the developer beta, grab beta two and let us know in the comments down below what you think. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you in the next one. Peace.